Uh, my name is Maha. I'm Sarah. And we are Milk and, and Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> so today we're not going to do a challenge, but we want to talk about something kind of challenging. Yeah. Um, and it's titled 50 Shades of our topic today is Instagram, well, social media in general, mm -hmm. just um, the impact that it's had on us, like being in our 20s, living in LA, like all just the pressure of Instagram and like Instagram models and like all this stuff. It's really like not important. So, I don't know, what's your experience been? Okay, first of all, the curse of social media. Um, Recently, I've been worrying about how implanted my face is into my phone. Um, just from looking at social, just looking at Instagram. Yeah. Um, my news feeds, most popular, it can really take a huge chunk of my time out of my day. And it's really unproductive, really unnecessary, and it can be really destructive because I start comparing my, well, not really comparing, but I start looking at these pictures of of other girls that are that not that they're probably not naturally beautiful but I tend to forget that a lot of these things are enhanced um, they're edited and you start thinking like you know it's like how do you how do you even become that and you strive you start striving for something that's not actually real yeah you know and it's all just it's all in the same place and there's it's so concentrated there's so much of it that's not real it's like so easy to like when you're scrolling through to think that like all these people are like perfect and like oh I don't have lips like that oh I don't have hair like that or like whatever it is and it's just like so easy to get like like think of yourself as like not less than like it's not like that but just sometimes you do feel that yeah, way though sometimes, after like, wow like get real you know yeah you're like you, you do yeah because I mean people that have the money to do all these like plastic surgeries and weaves, extensions, eyelashes, lips, it's like, yeah, of course you look bomb. Like that's you can afford to do all of these things. And I think all of us would look like that if we could afford to do those things. Maybe. Honestly. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, another one too, Snapchat. Man. Yeah. Snapchat. Okay, I this is this is something that I'm like I'm trying to break the habit of. First thing, the first thing I want to do when I go on Snapchat is like, I'll look at my face, and it's the same face I've had for many, many years. I've right. taken pictures with this regular face, like right. all my life. But then now I'm just like, okay, what is, what's like a good filter I could go to to make myself look better? Right. And yeah, it's not like you're fooling anyone. Like, yeah. you put the dog filter on, I know it smooths out your skin, I know it slims your chin a little bit, and it's like, we know that looking at it, so it's not like, it's like for some reason it still feels good like when it's you're it's weird. your face you're like I still look good like I want to post it even though everyone knows you know that's not like that it's not real you. it's not real it's not you yeah so I don't know it's easy to like also get used to yourself with a filter like you get used to posting stuff with filters every day and then like you'll go look in the mirror and be like oh dang like I don't look as good thought I did but that's totally just like an altered perception of what you look like how you feel about yourself because you get used to seeing something that's not really you but it looks good and then you're like oh dang so I don't know it's like it's just important to remember that that's not real and, and this, it's not like this is not like a bashing for makeup yeah by all means because Sarah is a professional makeup artist and um, I love makeup. I think it's an art. Um, but it's just, it's just, I guess, remembering that like you should be okay without it too. You should love yourself just as much. I guess we should also mention, being on the makeup tip, um, even though it's old, it's like super fascinating. I could, I could, and I don't even really, I'm not like the makeup expert, like a bunch of a lot of girls now. But when I do watch Instagram little makeup videos, I am very fascinated. Yeah. by them um me too i'm like how does she do that i don't know how but but what's more 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 fascinating what's more impressive is when i see just a girl you know with not as much makeup or naturally beautiful you know like she feels comfortable with herself confident in 
like how she naturally looks, that's more, that's even more like, dang, yeah. that's a real deal right there. And we also just have to remember that, you know, there's nothing more sexier and there's nothing more powerful than when a woman that is comfortable, confident with herself, uh, speaks with intelligence. Uh, that's like the most attractive thing you can be to someone. Not that really you should be concerned about being attractive to other people anyway, because that's also a waste of time and it will get you nowhere. But I will say confidence is the most attractive quality. Mm -hmm. Like you could be in your sweats and a messy bun and have just like poise and attitude and style and confidence and it's so much more attractive than someone who's like beat, like perfect face and it doesn't have anything else like it just mm -hmm. like you know with all that being said we actually I guess it is a challenge we want to challenge you and we will be challenging ourselves also to maybe maybe sometime in February for two weeks post when you post a picture on snapchat or Instagram um, post one without a filter that's challenge number one or um, Another picture no makeup. of no makeup mm -hmm. um, and no filter. Right, right. <laughs> I've seen y'all with your uh, face tune and stuff like no that. No makeup. <laughs> Learn. You can't cheat. Can't cheat. Um, and and you know what? It, when you see another another other people with without makeup and they're posting it, that you know, um, encourage it. You know, show yeah. them some love. Um, make sure you know you let them know that they're beautiful just the way they are. Celebrate it. Celebrate it, girl. People. Another challenge that I think I'm gonna try is to not go on Instagram in the mornings. Because right now, I literally, the first thing I do when I wake up, because like my phone is charging like right by my bed, I like pick up my phone, get on Instagram, and like for, I swear, probably at least 20 minutes, I'm just like, and all I see are these like bomb, like bikini models, fitness models, makeup, whatever. Maha. Maha. I'm like, ugh, I can't look like that. <laughs> no, but like the first thought in my head in the morning is like, dang, why don't I look like that? Or like, why is my hair like that? Or why can't I be, why can't I have abs, you know? Like that's literally all the, for all the thoughts that flood me in the morning. It's brainwashing. Are not good thoughts. Like I should be waking up and just be like, all right, like I'm gonna just live my life and be happy with who I instead of like instantly comparing like first thing when I wake up. Mm -hmm. We should like we should limit ourselves like in a day. Yeah. We can't look at social media for more than shit, 30 minutes. Like actually sitting there 30 minutes looking at Instagram is, is a long time. It is it's a long time. Yeah. It's like with those 30 minutes you could learn new Spanish words. Or, or yeah. whatever, learn a new recipe, or get outside and get, like just educate cook a meal, meal. cook so, a meal, do my meals, I don't know, something, something. But um, yeah, that is the challenge. Yes, love yourself more. It is Valentine's Day. You ain't got nobody to love. You ain't got nobody to love on you. Love yourself. It's true. Okay, that's what Sarah's gonna do. <laughs> love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Should we sing a song right now? Let's do a song. <laughs> Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. <laughs> you should you are yourself. a fool. <laughs> Is that? No matter what they say, words can't bring me down. <laughs> Have you seen Mean Girls when he throws the shoe? <laughs> That's all I think about when I think of that song. Then when, in Mean Girls when he like chucks the shoe at Damien and he's like shoe and then Damien like throws it back and he's like I am beautiful. <laughs>